Hey guys, what's up? My name is Isaac, and welcome to my vlog. Uh, it's June 5th. Um, it's about 5.45. I've never done a vlog before. Uh, I'm going to be posting these on uh, my YouTube channel and linking them through my Twitter and Facebook. Uh, you can reach me on Twitter at sco uh, twitter.com slash scooby71602. Uh, so definitely check me out on there. Follow me. Follow me, I'll follow you, uh, kind of thing. On YouTube, you can check out my videos. I have a lot of videos of uh, my nieces and nephews uh, just acting a fool. Uh, love to have fun. Um, my ne uh, nieces and nephews lived with me for a couple years, so we got some crazy videos on there. Got some, we used to call them our food challenge. Um, so definitely check those out. I have my nephew who was five, four or five at the time. Uh, dancing some crazy dances to Michael Jackson so definitely check those out as well as uh, there's a video of myself on there uh, trying to jam uh, my videos titled so excited and I'm dancing to Janet Jackson's song um, so excited from the album 20YO so definitely check out my videos on YouTube um, so basically my vlog is gonna be just an inside look at my thoughts uh, whether it be entertainment news Entertainment news is going to be a big part of my vlog, just kind of reporting on what's going on in the music and in the movie world, TV shows, just anything. And if anybody on Twitter or YouTube want to hear my take on anything that's going on right now, um, you hit me up and let me know. Like, I'll give you my opinion. Um, so definitely do that. That'd be pretty sick if you guys could do that. Um, I'm 25 years old. I work in retail. Yes, I said it. I work in retail. I'm a 25-year-old man working in retail. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm earning a living. Making a, making an, a living. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Um, it could be very hectic and very crazy. So you guys will hear me vent a lot on my vlogs about work, uh, about family drama. Um, so definitely stay tuned. There should be something very interesting uh, coming up, um, let's see, I'm a huge Janet fan, so the first thing that I want to get into is Janet Jackson's performance on American Idol last week, which was completely amazing, mind-blowing, show-stopping. Um, they could have had her perform and then announce the winners, and that could have been the end of the show. Like, she shut it down. Uh, she came out with the American Idol Top 10. I don't watch the show, so I'm not sure who those you know, who they were, whether they're top 10, top 12, whatever. She came out with them. Uh, they started off with singing Again from her 1993 album Janet, as well as the uh, film soundtrack Poetic Justice. Um, they started that off, she came out and finished it, and that transitioned into her current single, which is titled Nothing, written and produced uh, by Janet Jackson and Jermaine Dupri. Uh, so So Deaf Records, um, which is an amazingly brilliant ballad. I absolutely love it. And um, followed, she went from nothing to performing Nasty, uh, which was an amazing performance. She had Nasty uh, kind of remixed in the beginning with Busta Rhymes' Touch It, which was amazing because that song just sounded so current. If you would have... If you take any of Janet Jackson's music from the past 20 years and produce it like you were going to release it for today's radio, it would st it would sound just as amazing amazing as anything else that's out there on the radio. It's Janet Jackson music is timeless. Um, she looked amazing with her new short haircut. Uh, absolutely amazing. Her body looked stunning. Uh, she got booty for days. Uh, she had the twins in full effect, in full display, which we've kind of been wondering what's been the deal with the last couple of years because the last couple records that she's produced, she's been covered from here down, not really showing much skin, um, which I personally don't like uh, that she's not showing the skin because, like I said, I, I have a thing for cleavage. Um, but Girl Got's Booty for Days, and she just looked amazing. She showed all these artists out there Beyonce, Lady Gaga, um, Miley Cyrus, if you could consider her a performer, um, Rihanna. She showed all these girls how it should be done, how a true icon and legend does it on stage. Um, she shut it down. 
Um, and I'm going to show you guys a quick clip of her performance on American Idol right now. Alright, so you guys just saw a quick clip of Janet Jackson's performance on American Idol, which I may mention is available for download on iTunes. Uh, it was fighting for the number one spot last week with Miley Cyrus um, for the number one video, which Janet did, ma did manage to overtake a couple days. Uh, so she does have a number, another number one under her belt, which is absolutely amazing. 44 years old and she has... 34 number one hits which can all be purchased in her number one compilation disc titled number ones now available in stores and on itunes so make sure you check that out and get all of janet's classic number one hits um, including the number one dance single make me which here's a clip right now <laughs> So that's going to wrap up the Janet Jackson portion. Um... <laughs>